is the most biased reporter, NBC. You know, I made a lot of money for NBC with The Apprentice, and I used to like them, but they are the most biased. Peter is such a biased. You should, you, should be able, you should be able to ask a question, same question, in a better way. You are so obviously biased, and that's why the public has no confidence in the media. So Russia outsmarted President Obama. They took over during his term, not during mine, Crimea. They're still there. Why let him in now? They took over Crimea. If you'd stop being an organ of the Democrats, I mean, you know, you'd let me answer the question. I'll answer it very easily. It's a very simple question. The fact is, President Putin totally outsmarted President Obama on Crimea and other things, including the red line in the sand, all right? He outsmarted, he made a living on outsmarting President Obama. And frankly, because of it, Obama was upset, and he got Obama out of what was the G8 into the G7. Why is it acceptable to lock up children indefinitely, which is what the result would be of voting? Well, if you remember, President Obama had separation. President Obama built the cells. He built the cages that you people always talk about and attribute them to me. President Obama, in 2014, built those cages. And you were very embarrassed when the New York Times, as usual, and others put a picture of a cage and they said how bad Trump was only to find out that it was President Obama that built those cages. So President Obama had separation. I'm the one that brought them together. This new rule will do even more to bring them together. But it was President Obama that had the separation. How worried is taking America into a recession? Is it worth it? And do Americans so, back that up? The fake news, of which many of you are members, is trying to convince the public to have a recession. Let's have a recession. The United States is doing phenomenally well. But one thing I have to do is economically take on China. Because China has been ripping us off for many years. President Clinton, President Bush, and President Obama, and others should have done this long before me. My life would be much easier, although I enjoy doing it, but my life would be much easier if I just said, let China continue to rip off the United States, all right? It'd be much easier, but I can't do that. We are winning against China. They've lost two and a half million jobs in a very short period of time. They want to make a deal. It's got to be a deal that's good for the United States. When they want to make a deal, probably we will make a deal. But if I didn't do that, and I'm not doing it, somebody said it's Trump's trade war. This isn't my trade war. This is a trade war that should have taken place a long time ago by a lot of other presidents. Over the last five or six years, China's made $500 billion. $500 billion. Ripped it out of the United States. And not only that, if you take a look, intellectual property theft. Add that to it. And add a lot of other things to it. So, so somebody, excuse me, somebody had to do it. I am the chosen one. Somebody had to do it. So I'm taking on China. I'm taking on China on trade. And you know what? We're winning because we're the piggy bank. We're the one that all these countries, including the European Union, wants to rob and takes advantage of. European Union, $200 billion. China, more than $500 billion. Sorry. Uh, I was put here, I was put here by people. I was put here by people to do a great job. And that's what I'm doing. And nobody's done a job like I've done. Now, would China rather wait for a little more than a year and try and get sleepy Joe Biden to negotiate with instead of President Trump? Maybe, but I don't think so. You know why? They're losing too many jobs too fast. They had the worst year in 27 years, but I think it was actually 52 or 54 years. It's the worst year they've had in a half a century. And that's because of me. And I'm not proud of that. But you know what? They want to negotiate. And Sleepy Joe doesn't have a clue. Sleepy Joe said, oh, China's wonderful. Well, China is wonderful for China. But I'm wonderful for the USA. Okay.